Kevin, now we're going to head over to TCU Place. The Saskatchewan NDP convention kicks off in our city this morning. It runs until Sunday with delegates meeting from across the province. Global Scott McLean joins us live from TCU Place this morning. Scott? Good morning, Sherry. Yeah, it's really a chance to not only discuss that policy, but also for some potential leadership candidates uh, to test the waters and see how much support they have. There will be 350 to 400 delegates here. At least that's how many they're expecting at this point. So certainly a chance to connect. Now, one of those potential leadership candidates who's been attracting a lot of attention lately is Aaron Weir. He's an economist with the United Steelworkers Union based out of Toronto, originally from Saskatchewan. Now, I just want to show you just to tee this up in exchange between him and Prince Albert Conservative MP Randy Hoback at a finance committee meeting on the uh, omnibus conservative budget bill that just passed in the House. Take a look. You can't honestly say that we'd be better off without a strong resource sector. Is that what you're saying? Well, no, that's not what I'm saying. And in fact, I'm not sure what this question has to do uh, with the Investment Canada Act or a, the omnibus uh, budget bill. Actually, it has uh, a lot to do with that, your credibility as a witness. I guess I'm happy to uh, answer it. It has yeah, a lot of so credibility. Did you give me a chance fact, to, uh, Mr. Weir, in 2004, right, were you not a... Give me a chance to respond then. So well, it seems just, to just me a that second. Uh, I only Thomas five minutes, Mr. Weir. Time, please. Now that's just a short snippet of that exchange. A few days later, this showed up. This is a, a web grab from draftweir.com, which is essentially an endorsement of Aaron Weir's potential run for the NDP leadership. It's a collection of uh, 30 Canadian economists, uh, some of whom are from Saskatchewan, but the vast majority are from outside of this province a few days after that. This showed up in the Leader Post, and of course, good morning. Thanks very much for being on the show this morning. Well, thanks for having me. Murray Mandrick is saying this is a contrived effort, is it? Well, I take it as a big compliment that I've got economists from right across the country uh, suggesting that I might be the leader of the Saskatchewan NDP. I mean, I also take it as a big compliment that uh, after that, former member of Parliament Dick Proctor uh, said the same thing. But I'm just here as a delegate this weekend, uh, just looking to debate policy and uh, talk to new Democrats from across the province. What's your connection to these economists? Did you know that this endorsement? would happen before they, the website got put up? Oh, well, certainly these are people that I've worked with uh, over the years. And yeah, I mean, they certainly, they, uh, you know, talked to me about it. I wasn't uh, caught off guard by it. But certainly you had communicated to them before that you were interested in running for the NDP leadership. Is that fair to say? Well, they've known for a long time. I mean, it's no secret that I've been interested in NDP politics. I was a federal candidate here in Saskatchewan in 2004. Awesome. Aaron Weir, thanks very much for being on the oh, show this thanks morning. thanks for having certainly me. certainly appreciate it. That's Aaron Weir. Uh, for the record, not officially declaring that he's a candidate uh, for the NDP leadership race, but certainly heavily suggesting it, Sherry. Thanks, Scott. That's Global Scott McLean at TCU Place this morning, and we'll be checking in with Scott a little later in the show.